Hey guys, it's AJ from Design the Everything. Today we'll be using the loft tool and some of the patterning tools to make a 3D printed fuzzy cat toy. So let's go over to Fusion 360 here. And we're gonna start off by making some sketches for our loft. A loft works really similar to an extrusion, except instead of it starting and ending in the same shape, you can change the shape of the extrusion as you go. So I just started with my first profile there, that's just a circle, I made it one inch. And we're gonna do a plane offset from that by about an inch and a half. So that's gonna be our total height. And then we are going to do a rectangle, do a rectangle by center on that plane of an inch just to match our circle there. Get out of that sketch. All right, there's our two shapes. I'm gonna go to create, loft. I'm gonna click from the bottom one and then the top and hit okay. And there's our profile. You can see it starts as a circle and ends as a square. You can do a lot of really cool things with the loft tool. It is one of my, uh, one of my favorite tools. I use it all the time. You can use any number of profiles as you go up, and you can even set a, uh, a center rail or a guide rail on the side of that loft. So now let's go ahead and make this fuzzy. That's the base of our shape. So I'm gonna do another sketch. I'm gonna go to the rectangle by center tool. I'm gonna click on the bottom plane here. And I'm actually gonna flip to the other side because we're doing it off the circle. There we go. Uh, so now let's go ahead and make this rectangle. Now, for this to be fuzzy, we are going to be basically building a shape that is not, it is not possible to 3D print. So these will be hanging in the air when we're done. That's not the dimension I meant to make. Let's try that again. So I'm going to mention this line here. And my printer prints about 0.4 millimeters wide. So let's make this dimension 0.4 millimeters. I'm going to just type in 0.4. And M for millimeters, hit enter, and it'll automatically do that conversion for us. As to length, I'm going to hit D for dimension, click on that point, click on the corner here, and let's make that 0.25 inches. I'm going to hit stop sketch. Let's go where we can see it again. E for extrude. I'm going to select this profile and uh, I normally print in layer heights of about 0.3 millimeters. So I'm going to type in 0.3 millimeters. Oops. So something happened there. I'm not really sure what. So I'm going to hit cancel. And I'm going to go back down here to this little tree. So if I double click on that extrude command, we can fix it. So I probably hit enter instead of M or something, but let's 0.3. I'm going to hit M, M for millimeters. And I don't want that to be a cut. I want that to be a new body. And there's one of our little, uh, that's going to be our fuzzies when they are printed out. We need to pattern our little hair here all the way around our body. To do that, we're going to go to create, pattern, circular pattern. We're going to change this to pattern bodies. We're going to click over here on the tree on our body two which is the hair we just made. And for the axis, we're gonna select, and we're gonna look at the origin here and select that center axis. Now you can see it's trying to go ahead and uh, pattern those around, but we don't want three. Let's do something more reasonable like 50. That looks about right, that's fuzzy. So I'm gonna hit okay. Now that we have our pattern of the hairs down here, let's go ahead and pattern them straight vertically. So I'm going to go to Create, Pattern, Rectangular Pattern. I'm going to change this to Bodies, and then come over here to my tree and select everything from Body 2. I'm going to hold Shift and click on Body 51, and that is all of our little hairs. For direction, I'm going to click on the Direction command up here, and then select the, uh, our center axis here. Click on the center axis. Our distance will be 1.5 inches. 
and then our quantity, let's do about 30. Now this is going to make my computer lag considerably here. Then I'm gonna hit, okay. So that is our final shape once it's done re-rendering here. Having this many bodies, we just added 30 times 50, 150 bodies. So this is really gonna slow down Fusion 360. This is where a program like Inventor has a little bit more power. Inventor would be handling this without any problems. Uh, but Fusion, which is more cloud-based, starts to choke on it. So if you look at this, you may notice we caught we uh, patterned one too many of these fuzzies here. So let's go back to our pattern. I'm going to double click on it back here on the tree. And that will open up our uh, menu again. These checkboxes here will let us suppress an instance. So we want to suppress the topmost instance. So I'm just going to click on that checkbox and hit OK. All right, so that changed work. So you can see that that uh, last hair is now below the top corner there. So the way this is going to work, when this prints out, these hairs aren't going to be supported with anything. So that means when the printer is printing it, it's just instead of it building up, these are just going to droop down. And I'm using a flexible filament, so these will become like fur uh, or hair. So I'm going to go ahead and print this, and we'll see how it turns out. So here's the first version. Uh, I went ahead and stopped it a little bit early, so it's not the same height. Uh, I also took off the bottom so you can see straight through it. I'm It's okay. I'm not thrilled with it. I think my fuzzies are too short, and I think I used too much infill. So I'm going to change the infill and the slicer. And I already went ahead... And in Fusion 360, I both made the centerpiece smaller and I made the fuzzies longer. So this should be like 10 times more fuzzy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and print it again and we'll see how it comes out. So the second version just came off the printer and here it is. Uh, you can tell it is much, much more fuzzy than the, uh, the old version. <laughs> it's still not exactly pretty. Uh, you can find a lot more... Um, like fuzzy vases on Thingiverse that look a lot better. But this at least shows you the modeling process. Um, and it shows you how to make a kind of cool thing. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like button. If you have any questions or requests for future videos, please leave a comment below and subscribe for any future videos. Thank you for watching.